Well, so, um, I haven't talked about Jesus coin in forever. And, um, it's currently like around 70 million market cap. Yeah, I had gotten into Jesus coin. I think it was like a three to four million market cap. And then I decided to, um, I didn't think it would go anywhere. It had made a significant run. You know what I'm saying? It had made this significant run. And uh, it had made a heavy retracement. You know? Because they got, it was like, oh, Jesus Coin is at 100 million market cap. and But it made a heavy retracement. And um, so... I got in like three to four million market cap. I was in it for a minute and I was like, ah, oh, this, this is over with, you know, it's a religious project and they usually religious projects usually don't do good. They, they don't, they don't tend to, uh, last very long. <laughs> Silly me. I dumped my bags and moved on. Anyway. Now it's it's well well north of seventy million market cap. Yep. Oh, by the way, they're burning eighty percent of the supply on Christmas, or it might have been Christmas Eve. I have to double check on that. And uh, fun fact, the. Simpsons episode where it was about cryptocurrency they had uh, Jesus as one of the cryptos uh, you know shown in that episode uh, you know if you're in the conspiracy you know kind of genre like I am then it that was basically predictive programming. So, yeah, Jesus coin or token is a chosen project. Yeah. I thought that was kind of neat, you know. But anyway, thank you, Illuminati. Appreciate that for all my brothers and sisters out there for pumping their bags. Just saying. And of course, Christopher Green, who is uh, one of the main people that onboarded to Jesus Coin um, in its early days, he did not create it. Um, the guy who created it, oh, where did he come from? Oh my goodness, I used to know. He was a developer for another project. Jeez. It escapes my mind. Anyway, very legitimate developer. Uh, so, so, anywho. It didn't take much for Christopher Green, who's a big influencer on YouTube, to jump aboard this project because he's real religious. He posted up on Twitter earlier today that God told him that Jesus coin would be uh, would be on what's NBC or CNBC or one of them one of them news channels uh, that that Jesus coin would be mentioned on one of them news channels very soon. And uh, that supposedly that's what God told him. Now he's, you know, I'm religious, so I understand that, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, I know there's people that are not religious out there. I'm just telling you, well, this, I guess this video is for Christian folk who, who, uh, you know, are looking for some project that they might can, you know. Get involved with not financial advice. Do your own research. 
This is just crypto news and entertainment. But most likely, what's going to happen, uh, if it were to ever to get mentioned on the news, it would have to go to a billion market cap. It would have to. They're not the news channels are not going to mention a crypto that made it to 500 million. They're not. It would have to go to a, no less than a billion market cap to even be considered talked about on news, especially a leftist news channel. Okay? So uh, a liberal news channel, I should say. So, um, I do know for a fact that they're burning 80% of the supply. Now, what's a misconception here is at the beginning of the launch, they have locked up 80% of the supply. So 80% has always been locked up. Now they're going to burn that 80% out of existence. And so, um, well, let me look at there. <laughs> I took care of that. So, Jesus Coin uh, will pump, oh, by the way, in, in about, in less than a 24-hour period, they went from 7,500 holders to 8,300 holders. So, what, they onboarded somewhere around 900 or, or 800 new investors in less than 24 hours. And, of course, that's why they skyrocketed to 70 million market cap. You know, just saying, folks. Um, yeah, I was in at like 3 million, 4 million-ish market cap, and I let my bag go. What a wonderful move that was. And you know what the worst part was? It was like I felt like I needed to hold on to those coins. I, Because I was kind of doing this little prayer thing. I was like, man, God, I wish you would... Help me to see where I need to park my money at or what I need to put my money on. And I felt like Jesus coin was the right play. And when I put my money on there, I just felt good about it in my spirit. And then I started chasing green candles and got greedy. And, oh, Jesus coin, it's runs over with. Let me get that $100 and, you know... Throw it on rando, whatever coin is out there. And of course, you know, y'all know how that is. Played the crypto casino and lost badly. Yeah. Had I left that $100 in where I was at, I would be, I don't even know what, three divided into 70 or, or yeah, three million divided into 70 million. Whatever that would be. Well north of a 20x. Okay? Well north of a 20x. Yeah. So. <sighs> anyway. Here I am. Just talking about it. To you. Um, what can it really do? realistically from the market cap where it's at it could realistically with it being Christmas all about Jesus religious people what and what have you if the if all of the stars align together and we know how that goes but if it happens, I don't see why you couldn't make 5x on your investment. So if you put in 100 bucks, you would sell it at, for a $500 profit. 5x. 5 times 100. I could see that happening. You know?
you would be at around a 400 million market cap. Somewhere around 400 million. Maybe it gets so popular. I, I, I'm going to say, if he makes the mainstream media, especially a liberal news channel, like, what what did he say, NBC or ABC or something to that. If one of them liberal channels, if it makes it to one of them, then it went way, it went over a billion market cap. Bottom line, they're not going to talk about it unless it goes over a billion. You know? So if God really spoke to him, then you're looking you're looking at more than just a 5x. You're looking at probably well, definitely a 10x, you know. So if that if if that happens. But realistically, with them burning 80% of the supply and with it being Christmas and this is Jesus coin and a few, you know, some various things like that, Bitcoin maybe at like 45,000 by Christmas. I mean, here it's almost at 39K right now, pushing its way up to 40K, probably be 40K by, by the middle of next week. Uh, realistically, I'm saying from current market cap, you could get a 5x on your investment with Jesus coin. Now, if the Lord is really involved, like Christopher Green is saying, then you'll be on mainstream media, Fox News, CNN, and they'll be talking about Jesus coin and, you know... It's just going to explode. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like everybody in the world is just going to jump on Jesus coin, man. B about like they did Pepe. About like they did Pepe. I mean, it's just going to explode to the upside. You know? Uh, so, so, anything can happen. I'm just saying anything can happen. There's a lot of... It's like a perfect storm coming together. Sometimes that happens in crypto. It happened to Pepe earlier this year. It was just a perfect storm. It came together. The, the developers knew the right people. And they were savvy. And they knew how to make things happen. And the market was in a good, in a good place. A good condition. And it was just a perfect storm. And that could happen for Jesus Coin. It could end up hitting a billion market cap, if not more. Who even knows? It could go up to three billion. Two to three billion. Man. I mean, a perfect... Look, Pepe did 1.6 billion. A frog coin did 1.6 billion. With, and we're talking about Jesus coin, who has his birthday. Okay. Burning 80% of the supply. You know? And if and if and if what Christopher Green says, if there's anything to that, I'm just saying, folks, man, I ain't trying to talk this up. I'm just trying to throw something out there. There is the possibility of a perfect storm. Now, since the market cap is so high, you're not going to you'd have to you're not going to get rich. You're just going to make some extra Christmas money. Okay, you're going to throw in a hundred bucks. You ain't got no thousand dollars. Don't even try to be ridiculous. You're going to, you know, you're just going to throw in what you can. Hopefully you get, you, you, most likely you'll walk away with a 5X. Maybe it exceeds all expectation. You walk away with a, a 10X. Who, who knows? Maybe even a 15X. Yeah, but a 15X is still only $1,500, and $1,500 is not retirement money, okay? $1,500 is, you know, making Christmas a little nicer, making you feel good about yourself. Take that $1,500, reposition yourself back in the market and other projects that have a lower market cap, whatever, 
go spend it, go take that $1,500 and buy some Christmas presents or whatnot. Uh, I'm just saying. So, uh, I talked about Jesus coin back when it first came out. <sighs> I could have been well north of a 20, 20X had I listened to that still small voice. I, I, sh I, well, I did listen, but I got greedy. I did listen, but I got greedy. And instead of keeping it parked right there like I know I should have. So anyway, maybe this will be something good for you. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to put money in it. I don't know. I mean, I thought about it, but I've got myself stretched so thin on other projects. I mean, you can only, you can only invest in so many before you're just stretching yourself too thin but 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 anywho uh, i'm not trying to tell you all my problems i'm just saying that there's an opportunity that you that that presents itself and it might be a good one it might be a good one uh i know this jesus coin is not going away it is not and anybody that thinks it's just gonna die and go away you're sadly mistaken because that's what I thought it was going to do. And here I am sitting here fumbling the bag as usual and uh, regretting it. So so Jesus Coin's not going away. It will. If it don't hit a billion market cap now, when we're in the bull market, I'm talking about the real bull market. Like rip your shirt off. Hulk Hogan, screaming to your top of your lungs, Wolf of Wall Street, pounding your chest, bull market. When we're in a full bull, as they would say, Jesus Coin will hit a billion market cap. It's not going anywhere, folks. I'm telling you. It will be, it will be a top-tier coin in this market. They'll be like, how in the world did this religious coin become one of the main runners in this bull market and i'm telling you that's what jesus coin is going to be i'm telling you it is not going anywhere i did not i did not i listened to that still still small voice but i did not obey and keep my money there and therefore here i am i'm bringing this to you you know i'm telling you what God got me to do, and now you got this other religious man that's saying this, and I, you know, he doesn't know me, but he's saying this, and I know what God led me through the Spirit, and anyway, I fumbled the bag, but, but whatever. Uh, that doesn't take away from the fact. It just aggravates me because I got became greedy, uh, but, but anyway... I don't mean to drag this on. I was just going to make a quick 8 to 10 minute video. We're almost at 20 minutes. Um, you know, this it's not financial advice. Do your own research. It's just crypto news and entertainment. Uh, whether, whether Jesus Coin makes a massive billion market cap run now or whether it does it later. Bottom line. It's going to do it. Jesus token is here to stay. It ain't going nowhere. So, you know. And there's plenty of Christians backing this project up. They onboarded 800 plus new investors in the last 24 hours. Uh, you know. Yeah, Christmas right here. They're burning 80% of supply. God's speaking to different people. I felt like I needed to make this video, by the way. I felt that. I was like, I got to make this video, man. People's got to know. <sighs> you know? Maybe somebody out there gets blessed. 
I did my job, and and even though I I'm probably just gonna miss out on it. I don't know. Sometimes you just miss out, okay? Uh, but uh, maybe if there's somebody out there and it helps you, the you know that that's uh, that's payment enough. That's you know. Nothing like, I tell you what, the best Christmas present that I could ever give someone is knowledge. And they take that knowledge and they use it to make uh, a financially sound move that benefits them and their family. And if that's what this video does, then it was worth missing out on you know, far as on my end of it. Uh, but anyway, you know, Jesus token. It ain't going nowhere, folks. Y'all stay frosty out there. <laughs>